thank you to uh, the the association and uh, the attendees and sponsors for the opportunity. Um, I'm currently a fellow at the Twin Cities Spine Center in Minneapolis. I'll be starting uh, practice in Birmingham, Alabama uh, this upcoming September. Um, I think this project was born out of, um, you know, I think we've touched on it a lot during this, uh, this meeting, the, the idea of um, whether as spine surgeons, we should be looking, I mean, it seems like we're driving, we're trying to drive the outcomes of fusion to meet those of decompression, instead of looking at it as expanding our indications of decompression. Um, and so uh, I think Jessica eloquently talked about the background behind um, you know, the indications for fusing spondylolisthesis into the established literature. But when you look at uh, surgical goals uh, in stenosis associated with spondy, um, you're, you're trying to decompress and then preserve and not create more instability. Um, and we've gone from traditional open surgery to MIS surgery. Uh, uh, my uh, RPI basically came up with this technique because, uh, you know, uh, you may argue the merits of a facet fusion, but in this, uh, in doing an MIS decompression, the facet is right there and um, it doesn't add very much morbidity to the patient or in terms of time or cost. Um, it, the importance of stabilizing anatomy in MIS surgery has been well uh, established. Um, you know, we, we talked about removal of the posterior bony elements in the previous talk. Um, Dr. Kim's done a lot of work and, and a lot of people here on, um, on the scientific basis of MIS surgery. But set fusions have been proven to work and there's over uh, more recent evidence that shows that facet fusions are just as efficacious or maybe more efficacious than posterior lateral fusion. So the objective of this study was to just compare our outcomes of the select patients that underwent uh, decompression with a unilateral uninstrumented facet fusion versus MIS TLIF in a grade one spondy uh, with our hypothesis that we'll have similar outcomes while minimizing morbidity and the cost. Uh, so this was a retrospective cohort study. Uh, 20 patients uh, were selected for the MIS facet fusion group and uh, the 20 for the MIS TLIF group. They were statistically matched for preoperative um, patient reported outcomes as well as age, sex, BMI and preoperative slip. So this is a, uh, a case uh, of an MIS facet fusion. This is a grade one spondy with, you know, relatively little motion between flexion and extension. You can see um, as measured by the technique of Punjabi and white. You can see the MRI here, a lot of central stenosis, lateral recess. So it's pretty severe stenosis. This patient underwent a facet, uh, or sorry, a MIS decompression, unilateral approach bilateral decompression, uh, ODI went from 30 to zero at one year. Um, this is interesting because this is the same patient that underwent the, the decompression at four or five. You can see here, you know, very little lamina removed at a year out. Bilateral decompression, uh, you can see that the ligamentum is all gone. This patient actually came back. This is from several years later when they came back with a subsequent level uh, stenosis. So you know, it's a viable option. Uh, classic example of an MIS TLIF. Um, you can see, you know, spondy at four or five. Uh, and uh, contrary to what some of our esteemed eloquent critics have said, you can obtain lower doses through MIS TLIF, although you can see it in the extension as well. <laughs> um, these are our demographics. As you can see, they were well matched. These are results for the MIS decompression with non instrumented facet fusion in terms of patient reported outcomes. All of these um, at three months, six months, 12 months out were statistically significant with the exception of the ODI at 24 months. Now, these were not selected as single level patients. So a lot of these problems are you know, adjacent level or sums the return of their, their index level. These are outcomes for MIST lift, also all statistically significant with high patient satisfaction out to 24 months. Uh, and then this is side by side. None of these uh, variables at any of the time points was statistically significant. So, um, you know, I, I think we're, as an industry, we're talking a lot more about, um, you know, value-based. And uh, the question becomes, uh, how durable is this uh, surgery and how much do patients gain out of it? Um, when we looked at MC, uh, MCID at one year, um, there are different ways to measure this. And I think that's really important. 
Um, when you use, you know, kind of the, the, the copay standard 12.8 uh, points in ODI reduction, we, we saw 60 and 71% respectively in terms of MCIDA a year. When we use new, some recent, um, the recently suggested uh, measures of MCID, such as 30% baseline reduction in ODI, uh, that number jumped up quite a bit. And then uh, someone had mentioned substantially clinical, uh, substantial clinical benefit previously. Uh, you know, barely any of our patients met this. Uh, these are reoperations, and and like we touched on before, these are probably what you're looking at. Two of the um, reoperations in the MIS facet group were immediate epidural hematomas, which you know. The, that probably isn't necessarily just a, a result of the technique. Um, revision fusions, there were three in the MIS facet group and none in the MIS T lift group. And this is revision fusion at the index level, by the way. Uh, adjacent level fusions, there was actually one in the T lift group, none in the facet group. And you would expect that to be the kind of the risk benefit of the two procedures. Um, and then when you look at adjacent segment decompression, um, they're pretty equal. This is the timing of the reoperations, and you can see that uh, we followed them for a very long time, and a lot of these complications came even in the facet fusion group, uh, you know, four or five years after the surgery. Perioperative morbidity-wise, the MIS facet fusion uh, group, uh, the decompression with the unilateral facet fusion had much decreased EBL surgical time and length of stay. So why MIS? We've touched on this before. I mean, it, it works, right? Like in the right hands, it works. I think that's important. Um, why a facet fusion? I mean, the ipsilateral facet is in your field of vision for a normal decompression. The facet fusion may or may not increase intrasegmental instability or preserve, it might be the better word, but you know, whether it be a bony fusion or a stable pseudoarthrosis, one can argue and- um, Yeah, one minute. Yes, sir. Uh, clinical, uh, the, 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 you know, clinical results talk for themselves. It eliminates implant costs. And I think that has very far reaching um, implications in spine surgery. Uh, and then it reduces the morbidity associated with instrumentation. And we're all looking to be safer. Um, as far as touching on the MCID thing in our study, our patient satisfaction was 71% and 84% for the mis lift at one year. Uh, and we found that the 30% baseline reduction actually most closely mirrored the patient satisfaction at a year, which I think is kind of an interesting uh, perspective on this study. The weaknesses, small population, selection bias is key. We got to find the proper indications for respondees that can be treated with decompression alone, not just jump to the, the you know, need to fuse everybody with the spondylolisthesis. Um, facet fusions, do they work? We'd need to get follow-up CT scans on everybody. And I don't know that um, that would be efficacious. Um, and then cost data analysis is very complex, right? Like, but when we did our preliminary uh, analysis in hospital cost for MIS facet fusion, it was 5,000. For MIS TLIF, it was around average 20,000. And all of that came from the implant cost. So in conclusion, um, MIS facet, uh, unilateral facet fusion with uh, decompression alone for a grade one spondylolisthesis is an effective option that mirrors outcomes of MIS TLIF for uh, low grade uh, degenerative spondylolisthesis. Thank you very much.